Quick mods. I didn't think you could take these apart, so I was cutting them apart with a wood saw, making a battery pack for the Xbox 360. I just drew up this case the other day. And you can use these modules, which are the TP4056s, which fits in there perfectly. And just cradles the USB port. Now, before I put this in there, I want to put some more solder on these because as they come, it's easy to rip this off. So that's one thing to be cautious about. Oh yeah, let's show the board here. I just ordered 50 of these for 10 bucks. The one tutorial I was looking at, they had these boards, but this part was filled in and I was kind of confused about that. I was thinking maybe it was just the manufacturer. Maybe they just cut those out, but they're actually different boards. In the tutorial, it said to put a 3.3 volt voltage regulator on it and you don't actually have to do that it's not necessary for these revisions of the board so that's one thing to keep in mind another thing is once you get these batteries out you're going to want to put them in parallel there are clips Let's see if i can do this without cutting my finger off or stabbing myself in the hand I just saw a video of this on YouTube, how to take these apart. And it's really not all that hard. It's just, I don't know where these clips are. Once you actually get into it, then it's not too bad. So we got this side started. Another fear I have is putting leverage behind this. And then the blade breaking off and stabbed me in the eye. Let's see if we can do it without doing that. Try starting on this side now. Really don't want to stab myself. Now in all actuality, I could probably jam a flathead screwdriver in there about now. Let's try my small flathead here. Let's see if we can't get it in there and twist it. I don't really care about saving the case itself because I don't vape anyway. Let's see if I can get a bigger flathead in there. Yeah, I don't think so. By the looks of things, these are the clips, but they're not retracting. What else can I do? Hmm. Stab it. Okay, I think I found the easy way that I did it before. There we go. Okay, yeah, this pops out. And then you can just go like that. And it's free. Pull this up. And I'm just going to chop these batteries off. So, snip, snip. Now we can take this, we can actually reuse this tape. So, I'll set that aside here. Now let's do another one. That was terrifying. But here we have some batteries. 
These are 13, 450, 3.7 volt, and 2.41 watts. So now I want to desolder these wires off of here. Save these because we'll reuse them. They aren't really needed since I have the bottom enclosed, but let's do it anyway. I'll fire up the old soldering iron. Now I know that this says positive and this is positive, reversed, but that's just to show that this is supposed to be negative and that's supposed to be positive if you're using batteries, the correct kind. Now with this, I want to line it up some with the same orientation. And what I'm going to use is these solder tabs. They're 7.5 centimeters by 0.25. And we'll go ahead and solder this on. So that is in place. Let's go ahead and do this one. You should be able to use one of these single tabs for the bottom as well. So we'll bend this up, snip it, and that's all set. Now what we want to do is get a wire, run it up from the bottom to the, well past the top and into that board right here and that will be going to the positive and the negative in the center these wires I will tin beforehand and I'll add some solder to both of these in the center so we're gonna get this on here good enough black It didn't really tin, but I've got enough on my iron that it will. Okay, so there's that. Flip it up around. Make sure that it doesn't hit that tab on the other side. Let's strip this other wire here. Strip this other side. Tin. All we're going to do is wire these up to that board. Now all we have to do is push this down. Pull these down as we're pushing down. Make sure that these wires aren't getting hung up on the ledges, which this one seems kind of iffy. Now we can push everything in as we pull these out.
Okay. Now we'll get the tester here. Okay. Try slipping this back through a little bit and try to get it underneath that tab. There we go. So push this up in here much as I can. Well, it's not working out. All right, it doesn't look perfect, but See if it powers on. Yeah. Okay. But now, if it charges, it does. And that's basically it. But there's one more thing I did. I got some HVAC tape and I made a stamper that is the same size as this. Okay, so yeah, charging. That's the homemade battery pack. So it's red right now. Whenever it's fully charged, it turns blue down here. And you can have it unplugged and just plug it into that and leave it go and it'll charge up for you.